Hello and welcome to another episode of Our Ghosts Real. Um, and behind me, as you can see, is a beautiful little river. This is Pangbourne River. And back in the olden days, it was, so there's a mill uh, right there. Um, back in the olden days, there was a story of a young boy who unfortunately drowned in the river behind me. And people say when they're walking here at night, and there's like local legend, that they're walking here at night, that they will see, or in the evening, not even at night actually, not even at night, it's kind of evening-ish. Uh, so kind of round about now because it's actually about seven half seven now so it's round about this time where people say they're walking their dogs or whatever and people have said that they've seen a boy rise like out of the river and his face is all kind of like bloated as if you know he's been drowned um so I wanted to come here and I wanted to see whether or not boy, little boy, is real and whether or not he is here. So I bought my cat balls, I bought my EMF detector, uh, so yeah, so let's start the investigation. I think the first thing I'm going to do is just walk along here and see if I can get a reading. Um, it is starting to, well, the sun won't go down just yet. Um, <laughs> uh, no, this is about as far as I can go without getting nettled. There is a road, unfortunately, where that mill, old mill is. So unfortunately, there will be cars as it seems to be quite a busy road. I don't know what the boy's name is um, as it didn't say or give a name unfortunately to him I just know that there's a little boy who drowned if the little boy is here who drowned can I ask that you come forward for me I'm sorry to hear that you died Do you know that you're dead? Is there a little boy here? I ask that you come forward for me. Don't be shy. People say that they see you here in the evening. I've got some fun things for you. Don't be afraid of me. My name is Kareem. Can I ask what your name is? Not actually getting anything on here. Please don't be shy. All I just want to know is if you're here. You can come towards my voice. This thing in my hand, by the way, it won't hurt you, I promise. It's just for me. Because I can't see you. It's just for me to know that you're here. So if you come towards it, you can make the numbers on it go up. I wanted to put my cat balls down and I have found some crab legs really randomly 
by the side of the river. So on my travels, I have discovered this weird cubey thing um, as I was travelling towards the River Pangbon and I have no clue what this is, like none whatsoever. I mean, what is this? No way. I have no clue what this is. Very well. Okay. Well. What the? This is something for animals. Maybe it's something for animals. I don't know. There used to be a door. If any of you know what that is, then please let me know in the comments below because I've literally just stumbled across it. It might just be something for farm animals, maybe? Um, but it's really cool. I'm having to bend, sorry. You know what this really weird rectangular thing is? Then let me know in the comments. I would like to know what that is. It might just be for farm animals. Um, but it could also be in bunker. I don't know. It's really cool though. Glad I found that. Gosh. Uh, this is really thin. Try me. So I found a lovely little pool of water here and a beautiful stream and there's another one in here. There's more abandoned whatever they are in here. See? There's one there and then one there. What are these? Literally, I'm really curious now to know what these are. I'm putting this surrounded by sticking nettles, which I'm trying not to sting myself on right now. Ow! Yeah, I can't go any further than that. But there's another one there. Absolutely adore bluebells. And I found like a whole load of bluebells. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. Unfortunately, again, I can't get to it because there's a sea of nettles. And I'm sorry, I'm not doing that. <laughs> no way. But I've got this on and so far I've just been on 0 0.00 the entire time but I want to know what these are because they're so cool and there seems to be loads of them well I say loads but there's one here two over there and one over there four beautiful countryside I've come across another way in to one of the other ones where there is no stinging nettles. Well, there is, but <coughs> far fewer stinging nettles. So, <gasps> there you go, you can see into the other one. Oh wow, look at this. Oh. You know what, I do think it has probably something to do with farming. Just because of that. I don't know. As I said, if anyone knows. Oh, there's another little room there. Oh, what the? 
yeah as i said if anyone knows what this is for or what this is about then please let me know it's really cool though so dark in here can't see oh my gosh What is that? I don't know. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here because I'm just trying to think, not think about spiders right now. now almost 8 o'clock make one of those little balls go off they're fun they're not here to harm you I promise this really is beautiful I have to say this is very scenic I'm trying to contact the little boy or young boy I actually don't know your age could you let me know your age? are you lonely? Lonely? <laughs> Something is going on in those trees. <laughs> Jeez. This is a beautiful place. Is that why you haven't left here? Would you like me to convey a message? a really fast flowing river. It's going at quite a speed. And there's a rabbit. I don't know whether I can show it on here or whether you'll be able to see it, but there's a rabbit in that field. Oh. It's disappeared now. But there was a rabbit in that field. This is actually coming from literally underneath the road. So it's going actually through the mill still. I just think that's really, really cool. I have to say, when I don't get anything, it always makes me feel like 
when I do go to places and get stuff, it makes it way more like plausible um, and it kind of makes you go, oh, okay, maybe there was something in those locations because otherwise my stuff would be going off like all the time and it's clearly not because this is the second time where I film something and like nothing's happened so and I'm not feeling anything I'm not getting anything and I've literally been at this now for well a long time <laughs> um, almost two hours <laughs> so I mm, uh, and this is supposed to be a haunted location as well maybe he's just shy or maybe he just doesn't want to talk to me who knows maybe I've offended him somehow I don't know but yeah this does make it more plausible when things happen like for example when my cat balls went off in Bisham Wood and you know when I get readings in the middle of nowhere it does make it more plausible when I have videos where nothing happens because I'm like well that's really interesting <laughs> I know I just find it really interesting um, but I don't seem to be having much luck here so I'm potentially going to give this a I'm going to call this quits I think because I'm very very cold <laughs> very very cold um, but I hope you really enjoyed this video anyway please do like and subscribe and follow me for more content um, and also please do put a comment in um, and I look forward to hearing that oh and let me know what those bunkery things are because I'm fascinated to know what those bunkery things are oh and please obviously as well I'll put a link down below but please do follow me on patreon as that's my new little page which I'm all excited about and uh, yeah look forward to seeing you in the next video bye guys